Hey there everyone and I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another episode of My Orchid Adventures with me, Maria Young. So some of you guys have asked me questions pertaining to orchid judging and also orchid competitions. And to be quite honest with you, I don't know enough about the subject matter to give you enough informative information. But because your concerns matter to me folks, I decided to go orchid hunting for that information and I did enlist some credible judges that can give you that information and they are coming from Central Florida Orchid Society. So I thank you guys so much for sharing your information with us. And with that being said, let's go ahead and see exactly what they have to say. And let's do it right now. Hi, I'm, my name's Arthur Katz. I'm the chairman of the Florida North Central Judging Center, have been the chairman of the Mid-Atlantic Judging Center and an orchid credit orchid judge and have been judging for a little over 30 years and growing orchids for over 30 years. Hi, I'm Howard Bronstein. I'm an American Orchid Society accredited judge, actually emeritus now nowadays, and uh, I've been a judge for about 30 years now and been growing orchids for probably 40 or 50 years. Basically the orchid judging process is a group of judges, any team from five, six judges onward to 10 or 12 sit together and look at whatever is brought in to the judging. There's, there's two types of judging. There's ribbon judging, which we do first, and that's based on the comparison of that grouping within the show. Orchid, AOS Orchid judging has a higher standard and it's, the criteria are of a higher standard. We base it on judgings of around the country, and around the world. We might look at something in comparison to how that was judged in Australia or Japan, for example. At these shows, we walk around and we see what looks like it could be worthy of judging. And we have certain criteria that we look at in terms of the, how the flowers look in comparison to prior awards, how the uh, standards are of that flower. So everything that's in the show basically can be brought to AOS judging. We're going to talk about a little bit about the judging process. Uh, there are two different uh, areas that we judge in. One is at a show like this show here in Orlando or in the regional judging centers throughout the country and the world. So that, um, and you do have to register your plants for judging. Ribbon judging is, is where you're judging the lo local where uh, I think Arthur had sp spoken before. The American Orchid Society judging, which is more complicated, uh, that requires to be at a center. You have to register in, um, and you have to fill a form out for the plant, your name, and address, etc. And that you're willing to, because you, you do have to pay for an award. When an award is uh, created, uh, then there is a, a fee to the American Orchid Society for doing all the paperwork. The reason that the, it's paid for and the, 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 it's registered is because every orchid that gets awarded by the American Orchid Society uh, goes into archives. It goes onto websites, it goes onto the American Orchid Society records, and um, this is published on the website and uh, being published, the whole world can see what's been awarded by the American Orchid Society. There are other orchid societies in the, uh, uh, that do orchid ju uh, judging also throughout the world, Germany and Australia, but we also cross our, our, our awards so that people can see what's being awarded in, in Australia because they have plants that we don't see very often, and, uh, or South Africa, etc. As Howard mentioned, there's two ways the plant gets looked at for AOS judging. Those people who bring it into the judging centers, but also at a show like this, let's say we have a display such as this, the judges go through the display and they'll say, okay, here for example is a Cattleya purpurata. And we'll look at that and we'll have in our minds what we expect, we know what they should look like. Again, the judging, to become a judge requires six years of student and probationary training. It requires a great deal of, of uh, study and training. So when we look at something like this, we know whether that's 
comparable to those that have been awarded. And there have been hundreds of awards to this. So we'll say, well, wait, this is a beautiful flower, has wide petals, great looking lip, but we have certain expectations. If that met those expectations, we might say, we need to take this and look at it as an AOS award, which is a higher award. If we look at it and say, well, it's almost there, but there's certain things that this is a very good flower, but it doesn't meet the criteria of an AOS award, we'll then pass it. So as we're going through all of these displays, we're going to be looking and saying, well, are there things here that meet the criteria of AOS standards? And we're looking at the form, we're looking at the quality of the flower, we're looking at the way it's presented. Uh, uh, for example, this, uh, this Vanda here has very good form for the type of cross it is, the coloring is dramatically dark, very appealing flower. Then the issue is, how does that compare, th this particular one, how does that compare, has it been awarded before? So we'll look at the research. And if somebody says, we want to look at that, we'll take it, look at the research, we have computers, we'll look at the Orchids Plus uh, and see, well, if it's been awarded, how does this compare to prior awards? If it hasn't been awarded, we may want to say, well, this is probably one of the best of that, of that grouping. Again, we're looking at what the parentage is also, because certain parents produce particular style and size. Is this what we're wanting for that parentage? And these are criteria that we use when we're finally making a decision. And then we have a point scale where the group of judges, six, ten uh, judges, if they decide they want to award it, they fill out a point scale, and the points determine what award it gets. It has to get a 75 or above to get any award. Uh, so 75 to 79, 80 is a, uh, a moderate award, and 80 to 90 is a, a award of merit, and if it's above 90, that's considered a wow award. It's like there's only 12, there are 12 to 20 of those given around the United States in any year. And that's a very special award. Uh, I know Howard one year at, at this show won, uh, was show like, won an uh, FCC, a Flower Quality Award. And I think the feeling of people when they win that is... It, it, it's something special. It was my only FCC of all the awards I've ever had. Um, I've only got one. And it was quite a feeling. It was actually at the Deland Show uh, here in Florida. And um, it, it's a very special thing. It's like winning you know, the top awards for basketball or anything, anything. So it, it's exciting for anybody. But we try to uh, uh, invite the, most of the public as possible to come. We want, the, it's always published so that people can look on the American Orchid Society uh, website and look wherever judging is. If they happen to be in Chicago or Pittsburgh, they'll know when there's a judging of orchids and they can go and see them. Uh, we want people at judging. They, can, they can't participate in judging, but they certainly can watch and see how we do it and, and how we measure and how we do the research, uh, as Arthur explained. Okay, so one of the things that uh, is important for many of the hybridizers or vendors is that if they receive an a uh, AOS award, like this has an AM award, somebody who's doing hybridizing may want to utilize that as one of the parents so they might want to put that onto a different another uh, high award to get what they would think might be a better quality sibling uh, and that's how in many ways that's how the orchids perpetuate by like this this is a species but this is a very good species it's of outstanding and it's probably many generations of crossing the top level species from that group of the Brutonias. Uh, uh, so this is not what you would normally see in the wild in Jamaica, which is where it's from. This was what you'd see in many years away down the road from a hybridizer who has hybridized with the best. And one of the ways of determining the best is it's been judged by a group of orchid judges to say, that's probably the finest I've ever seen. And by saying that, they're saying to the public, that's probably one of the finest out there. So one of the things that we're doing sort of is a pre-screening for the development of the future of orchids. 
So as most of the ones in this display, for example, are high quality. And they're coming from parentage that was probably high quality. Very few of these would have come from the uh, from nature looking like this. Mm -hmm. And so we're and as you walk around and look at some of the vendors, they're going to be selling things that look like this or look like that because this is what where the standard is today. And the one of the objectives of the orchid judging is to advance the standards in the orchid world, quality of the plants. So bringing in plants to uh, into a show or into regional judging, um, we, in we encourage you to show your plants to people. But in a show, it's a little different because in a show, these these exhibits are all put out, put in by either a vendor who, who are trying to sell orchids or individuals or societies, different societies from different parts of the city or other parts of the, of the county and they're individual by a group of orchid people so that you would belong to one of those a society and we encourage people to belong to societies they're very inexpensive to stay to belong to them because that's how you learn to grow all the different kinds of orchids by other orchid people and um, so if you join a society for instance then you can put your plants in with those th their plants when you come to a show or to um, exhibit now if you have a special plant that you know is really a good one, it's clean and it's, and it's in perfect shape and you want to have it American Orchid Society judged and you just bring it to a, a judging, and that, to a regional judging center you know, when they judge. Uh, for instance, the one that's local here to Orlando is uh, the second Saturday of every month. It's, uh, it'll be in Claremont. It's, and you can get the, the individual details uh, going on the website of the American Orchid Society. And that's free to find out where those, those are. So, bringing a plant in is important for you to learn, too. But first you want to get involved with orchids, you really do. Uh, join a society. You'll enjoy it, you'll enjoy the people. Everybody loves the plants and, and it's like you, you just walk into a place and you're friends immediately, all over the world, if you're an orchid grower. That is an orchid judging wrap. I thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another episode of My Orchid Adventures. And I want to know from you guys if you have more information that we might have left out that you want to share as well. Please be sure to post those comments below. And also, if you guys have entered competitions and you know some tips and some secrets and some suggestions you may want to share with us, please be sure to share it again below. Would really appreciate it as you guys know sharing is caring and the more that we know the more that we can grow and special thanks to the Central Florida Orchid Society for indeed assisting us with getting the information that we need and I also want to thank you guys for all that you do for the Central Florida community and if any of you guys live within the Central Florida area please be sure to check out this society because definitely as you already see they are quite beneficial and of course you guys know if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to stay tuned to my orchid adventures please be sure to subscribe and if you want to write me you can do that at the following address below and also I am on Facebook at my orchid adventures so please be sure to join me there as well with that being said you guys already know I do truly love you guys all Mwah.